Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barashim Rakat Gadash, Barakat means bless you, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, Barakat means bless you, Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son, the Heavenly Father, Barashim Rakat Gadash is in the Holy Spirit. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. You know, as Thomas is true. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect. All right, Lord willing, this video is edifying. Uh, I'm just driving right now. Um, so I'm going to be going back and forth with the uh, GPS. Don't mind that. Um, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 6. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. That's right. All right. The Holy Scriptures say the how. All right. Scream. All right. Scream from the from your belly, from your gut. Okay. Because why? It says for the day of Yahweh is at hand. All right. And week in and week out, the men whom Yahweh Bashin Yahshai set up warns the people. That the, the day the Lord is at hand It's coming, it's fastly approaching Alright, it says it is, it is at hand, it says It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty The Almighty Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai The creator of heavens and earth Alright, the creator of all things Is about to destroy this world Alright He's about to destroy this wicked kingdom Known as uh, America And the Holy Scriptures known as Babylon the Great the Lord is about to set on fire all the wicked. They're about to be fueled, all right, uh, for the missiles that are about to come. They're about to be uh, stubble from the holy heat that the Lord is going to bring from the chariots, okay? That's why we're supposed to be howling, all right, screaming, all right, terrified and scared, all right? This is the book of um, Amos chapter 9. In the eighth verse, it says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Saving, I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. So the Lord promised in his holy scriptures, the scriptures say that the heavenly father and his son are not men that they should lie, nor that they should repent. If they say something, that's going to come to pass. All right. And in his holy word, it says that he's going to destroy the sinful kingdom from off the face of the earth. All right. We live in America, okay? What's promoted in America? Heavily, all right? One of the greatest things that's promoted in America is sodomy, all right? Homosexuality, okay? Bestiality is legal in a lot of states in America, okay? All right, but if a man has more than one wife, they're going to lock him up, all right? But your senator likes to sleep with dogs, all right? A woman, she can uh, put a video up about how it's good to sleep with dogs, and live freely in this country, okay? America is not the land of the free. America is the land of the captives. All right, America is the land of the free to do wickedness. All right, they think that they can uh, sin against the heavenly Father. They think they can break every law that the heavenly Father has set up and ordained from the foundation. All right, and think that they're gonna get away with it. Okay, but the Lord said the Lord's eyes are upon the sinful kingdom, America, and He's gonna destroy it from off the face of the earth. All right, the heavenly Father is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. If a man soweth to his flesh destruction, he's going to reap destruction. All right, and that's what America has done from its inception. Okay? That's what America has done from its inception. All right, this is the book of Malachi, chapter 4, verse 1. It says, For behold, the day cometh. And what day is that? That's what we read in Isaiah 13. The day of the Lord. Okay? The day of the Lord. The day of fire, the day of recompensing the evildoers, all right, for all their iniquities, the so-called white race, all right, for all the wickedness that they have done and promoted throughout the planet Earth since they've been in rulership, all right, the Heavenly Father is about to pay them back, all right? This is uh, Malachi 4 and 1. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, all right? And that day hasn't happened yet, all right? So you should be in great fear. All of us should be in great fear knowing that who the world eagerly knows as God, all right? His name is Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shah, in the name of his son, all right? The, the savior of Israel. The Lord is about to bring fire onto this earth, okay? He's about to burn everybody up, 
he is upset and he is furious. All right. It says, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. So all the proud, all right, the, the sinners out of the nation of Israel, the two thirds who say uh, the evil shall not overcome nor take us. All right. The sinners of our uh, of, the, of the Lord's people. Okay, they're going to be stubble because they're proud. All right, the 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 so-called white race, the Caucasians, all right, the Edomites, they're going to be stubble because they, they can't help but to be proud. All right, and the heathens. All right, there's no hope for a heathen. All right, it says, and the day cometh that shall burn them up, said Yahweh of hosts. All right, Lord of hosts. Host means Tazabawa in Hebrew. All right, which means army. The Lord of Army, because because the Lord, the power that we serve is a man of war. All right, he's the ultimate mighty man. All right, he's the ultimate warrior. All right, and, and he and he's he's about to shed a lot of blood. All right, you know, us Israelites. All right, we can't wait. We're waiting on the promise of the Lord to give us spiritual power so we can slay our enemies. Okay, we read in the scriptures. All right, King David slaughtering thousands of men, Samson killing a thousand men. With the, with the jawbone and the ass And we can't wait for the Lord to give us that power Alright The Lord is about to kill millions of people Alright the, the Heavenly Father is, a ultimate, is the ultimate mighty man He's about to kill millions of people Billions of people Alright and not, and not get scratched Alright Why do you think we desire such power Alright On a, a lower scale Kill 10,000 Not get scratched Kill, kill 1,000 Not get scratched Not get scratched Alright we get that from our because we were created because we're the Lord's people, all right? We're like the Lord, all right? It says, "They shall lead them neither root nor branch," all right? Because once the once the Lord comes and establishes kingdom on earth, all right, the wicked is never gonna get in, get into power again. They're never gonna rule again, okay? But Israel is gonna have dominion over the earth, all right, under Yahweh Shai forever, okay? This is the book of uh, Joel, chapter 2. I'll read the first verse. It says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. All right, and that's what Yahweh Bashem Yahushua is doing all throughout the planet Earth. All right, via or via his men. All right, this is uh, the book of, just to back that up, this is the book of Luke, chapter 1. All right, in the 70th verse, it reads, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So the Lord has spoken through his holy prophets since the world began. And what is the message that the that his holy prophets have, have been have been saying, have been declaring? The day of Yahweh Bashin Yahshai, the day that we're fastly approaching, the day of wrath, the day of vengeance of the Lord that's about to be brought upon the planet earth. That is what the holy men have been speaking of all right, since the world began. Because the Heavenly Father has ordained this. Has uh, predestined this day, all right, before everything was created, all right. This is the climax, all right, because after this great devastating destruction, all the heathen, the whole world's gonna know the Lord. It's gonna know the Lord's power, its might. His name is gonna be declared. This is gonna be a, a, a memorial, a story told for eternity, okay. And this destruction is gonna lead on to the salvation of the Lord's people, okay. The righteous rule that's going to be established on earth for eternity. So this is going to be a great devastating day. It's going to be far worse than our imagination. What we got envisioned happening on the planet earth. You know what I'm saying? What we believe is going to happen. The Lord is going to outdo it. Okay? So it's going to be a scary day. Okay? And we're hoping that Yahweh Bashim Shai delivers us. So I'm going to go back to Joel 2. But let me get this real quick. Alright? This is the book of... Um, Zephaniah, Slaki, not Haggai. All right, it's the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2. All right, and I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Who's the nation not desired? All right, you so called blacks and Hispanics, all right? Nobody, get, nobody cares about you. Nobody cares about your well being, your state, your condition. If, you, if you're happy, if you have enough to sustain yourself, they don't care, okay? Because you're the nation of Israel, all right? And us as the nation of Israel, we've been impoverished for hundreds of years, 
all right not able to feed ourselves literally starving as a people can't clothe ourselves don't have enough for anything okay the lord says gather yourself together yea gather you together O nation not desire because we're the lord's people all right we're coming together right now in these last days and the lord is about to about to bless us with the greatest salvation ever all right the scriptures say the meek shall inherit the earth the lord is about to take us a nation not desired and make us kings and rulers okay make the other nations have to bow their neck to the earth all right and come to us for everything okay if they want to live if they want to breathe air they're gonna have to get permission from us if they want to eat they're gonna have to get permission from us all right everything that they do is going to have to be sanctioned by the nation of israel all right that's how merciful the power we serve all right verse 2 it says before the decree bring forth before the day pass as the chaff before the fierce anger of the lord come upon you before the day of the lord anger come upon you all right because the day of the lord's anger like that was that was said twice all right and that one verse because the day of the lord's anger is coming all right the day of the lord's anger is coming and if anyone's read the bible they should be concerning themselves what is that talking about okay from Genesis all the way to Revelation, there's constantly a occurrence of the day of the Lord, the day of the Lord's anger, the day of the Lord's wrath, the day of the Lord's vengeance, all right, a day of fire, okay? The, the, the Lord's fire is, is going to devour the earth. That should be a very concerning thing to you if you actually believe in the Bible, okay? Verse 3, it says, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment, Seek righteousness, seek meekness, and maybe ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Okay? That's why we do these videos. That's why we're constantly praying to the Lord right now. All right? We're seeking the Lord right now with all our heart, mind, and soul before the day of the Lord comes. Before the day of vengeance comes because we know that his anger is about to be brought to the planet Earth. Okay? We know it's about to be brought to the planet Earth. All right? So what do we do? We do whatever it takes to please the Lord because we know if we please the Lord, the Lord can spare us. All right. Devastation is coming. Okay. Devastation is coming. Atrocities are coming. Your loved ones are about to perish. Okay. Let me read that again. Seek ye the Lord. That's what we're doing. We're seeking the Lord. How are we seeking the Lord? Uh, throwing up videos, throwing up prayers. Uh, fellowshipping with Akim. All right. The scriptures say the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We live, we're, we dwell in these weak tabernacles, these weak bodies that can, that can barely stay awake for, you know what I'm saying? Like 14 hours. Then you got to go back to sleep. You know what I'm saying? You don't have enough time to do as much videos as you want because you, because you're so tired and weak. All right. In the midst of all of that, we're still seeking the Lord. All right. It says, all ye meek of the earth, because you have to be meek, all right? The Lord resisted the proud. The Lord is only dealing with the meek, the lowly, the humble, all right? And the Lord is about to uh, devastate this world, all right, and deliver the meek, okay? Which have wrought judgment, seek righteousness, all right? How are we seeking righteousness? Because we're seeking after Yahweh's only begotten, Yahweh's shy, all right? Who, who did perfectly in the flesh, who was a sacrifice unto the nation of Israel, and through belief in him, we're going to receive salvation. And maybe he shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. And that's what we're hoping for. Let me finish Joel 2. Like I said, it's Joel 2 and 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. All right? The scriptures say, let all the inhabitants of the earth tremble. Are we not on the earth? Do we not inhabit the earth? You're supposed to be trembling. All right. The Lord said, uh, matter of fact, let me get that. I'm going to still go back to Joel 2. This is Psalms 2 and 11. It says, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. All right. We're supposed to serve the Lord in fear. Out of our fear, we're supposed to put up these videos. We're supposed to fast, pray. All right. Out of the fear of the Lord. Because we know the Lord can destroy us. All right. He can destroy both our soul and body in hell. It says, and rejoice with trembling. All right. We're hoping in the salvation to come. We rejoice over that. But we're trembling because we know the devastation that's going to come with it. All right. But let me go back to Joel 2. Joel 2. All right. It says, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. So we're supposed to be trembling 
and fear because we know that that devastating day, that grievous 